I thought Venom's breath was bad. It is. Oh, you know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded. The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. It felt like more than that. As if... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. <laughs> That's what you do? Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you were not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry. I did not think church was your style, Daywalker. Actually, it's Eric. Eric Brooks, from Harlem. I do not have any other name. It is just Hunter. Really? I thought you'd have some old formal sounding name like Benedict or Archibald. Afraid not. I was born a weapon and raised as one. I'm guessing that is why Caretaker chose to just call me Hunter. She did not want to give me the impression I was allowed to be human. Well, Sarah isn't exactly known for her warm parenting style. Can't say my mentor was much better. He was hard on me too. Wanted to make sure I survived. You had a mentor. I wasn't born this school. Someone had to teach me. His name was Jamal Afari, a vampire hunter. He gave me the name Blade. He used to take me to church on Sundays when I was a kid. Taught me right from wrong.
Well, if it means anything to you, he did a fine job teaching you morality and ethics. Sometimes I think the difference between taking the high road and slumming it in the gutter is having someone who believes in you enough to lift you up. He could have killed me, you know. And he would have been within his rights to put me down, too. But he didn't. Jamal was the first person to look past the fangs and see my humanity. Trained me to control my darkness so I could become the vampire hunter I am today. I guess what I'm saying is, you deserve that same benefit of doubt. You may be a demon child, but I see the human in you winning. I have no intention of disappointing you or anyone else here. If shit happens, shit happens. But I won't write you off if it does. Not right away, anyways. As long as you keep the faith in yourself, I'll keep the faith with you. That is a deal. Feels good to have someone keep you in check, don't it? What happened to this Jamal Afari? Do you still keep in touch? No, I killed him. Why? What happened? He asked too many questions. Just kidding. You keep showing me I can trust you and maybe I'll tell you the whole story someday. But for now, I just want to let you know you're not all bad, Hunter. Just half bad and that's good enough for me. And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's Sanctum Shield, and our exalted Chosen One just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. No wards? No shields? <laughs> How did you survive that? Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> you fought Venom, Hunter?
We've all walked away from explosions, Hunter. Don't get arrogant about it, but from what I saw on the monitors, you did look really cool. See you soon. Was that the first explosion you've survived? If so, you deserve a cookie. Uh, to be clear, I'm not going to bake it for you. You're one tough cookie, Hunter. Biscotti level tough. Biscotti? Teeth-breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth-breaking with venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? He's an asset. As an outsider, you two have vastly different approaches, but perhaps that is what makes you good allies. Yin and Yang, Hunter. Some jobs require tweezers, and some a bulldozer. You can't go wrong with a fully stocked toolbox. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You have just never seen his dark side. It is easy to see the good in people, when we have not seen the bad. As a rule, I try not to assume the absolute worst about my teammates. And neither should you. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Hunter, hello. Hunter, I would really like to speak with you, if you have a moment. Caretaker, are you alright? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom. But I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter. Are you actually as fine as you seem this morning? Or should I be worried? Now that I am ready to return to the battlefield, it is our enemies you should be worried about. Glad to hear it. Although I hope you do know you don't have to front with me. If you are suffering in any way, if anything is wrong, it's not weak to ask for help. There is nothing wrong. I feel strong. If you say so. Yeah, well. I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. Yes, the Venom creature's alien nature continues to plague all of us. I've seen you take on a Skrull army, hurl Thanos into a moon, make Galactus smile. They're all aliens too, last I checked. Something else is going on here, and you know it. We just gotta find out what and why. Still with me, oh magnificent one? Yes, I'm simply silently agreeing with you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, you're, you, you what? Wow. I got nothing. I know your ears must be ringing, Hunter, but if you feel up to it, I'd like to check in. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did 
explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion. Any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Oh, I am feeling the urge to murder now. You do? I need to alert caretaker. We should be monitoring you. Wait a moment. You're putting me on, aren't you? Well, I am the hunter after all. Ha! <laughs> of course you are. Who would you be without your ever-charming urge to kill? But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't in good conscience send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. I am not comfortable disclosing any medical conditions with you, Doctor. You see? Well, I won't force you to confide in me, Hunter. But I'm here if you change your mind. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? How do you do it? Do what? Balance both light and dark magic without becoming overwhelmed with one or the other. Yes, I am rather well-rounded in my magical gifts, aren't I? I suppose I see magic as a tool. I use magic, but it doesn't use me. Just remember, you don't need to go pure dark or pure light unless you want to. There is room for everyone's own unique path. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am deathly afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. Do you really think we will be able to halt the prophecy? Halt? No, unfortunately not. Prophecies are stubborn things. So, you do not believe I can change mine? Anything we do would be like dropping a rock in a stream. We might stop it or divert it for a bit, but the relief would only be temporary. This prophecy will come true, one way or another. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. This Venom creature stands between me and the prophecy. Destiny demands he fall by my hand. Seems like Destiny's hit list just keeps on growing for you. How about you let some of us other heroes slay a mystical dragon or two? Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Could you not just laser him and end the problem for good? Oh, everyone's a scientist these days. Look, I know this thing has given you a proverbial, if not actual, black eye or two lately, but don't forget, there's a man underneath all that monster. I don't take my lasering lightly. Besides, it wouldn't work anyway. We've hit that thing with the best that technology and magic has to offer, and it just keeps coming back for more. We need to understand what makes it tick to stop it. Not to mention keep you from blowing up again anytime soon. On that, I agree. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? 
Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. I'm quite pleased with these results. Mystical energy growing. We're not quite finished yet. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, anyway. Not the moment. I look forward to researching this artifact further. Tony is working. Got more coil for me? Initiating struggle. Ah, uh, uh, not bad, right? Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Heard you walked away from a kaboom. You didn't look back, did you? Superheroes don't look back at explosions. They just keep on walking. It's a pro tip for you. Empires must tremble at the mere mention of your name. Many thanks. I hear I owe you my thanks. You know, when you were resurrected, I was sure you wouldn't be able to overcome the darkness inside you. What do you think now? I'm beginning to think I was right. You are your mother's kid, all right. No escaping that. There is nothing wrong with who I am or how I entered this world. If you are mortal, I'd agree, but you aren't. You're a demon, a half-breed like me. I know the battle you're having with yourself every day, because I fight the same one. Thing is, I'm getting the feeling you're about to surrender. You are crying out for your mother. 
calling out her name like a lost kid at a theme park while all this crazy-ass dark energy were swirling around your body, almost taking it over. I was so sure you were about to fall that I didn't leave your side. Surprised you came too with the light still in your eyes. I am surprised you scare so easily. I'm not the one who should be scared. You're on the edge, Hunter. Fear might be the one thing that keeps you from falling off. I would appreciate you not sharing what you witnessed with the rest of the team. I don't plan to. It's not mine to share. I'll leave that to you. Time's wasting, Hunter. We need any advantage we can get. Soon improved. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. See you've earned your rep. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I guess it is a tough decision. Timely enhancement. Let us see it in action. Our enemies are many, but we grow stronger. Caretaker could have at least left me a chair.
Hydra is already experimenting with more of those charges Faust has created. You need to put a stop to their little test. Just focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. We can definitely handle that. for you! Make this quick. Enemy reinforcements. Everything according to plan. My Greek mythology is a little rusty, but didn't the Hydra originally have nine heads? Hydra's in control. 
control the situation. Something is wrong. We're almost here. Hold position. We are immovable. Probably still won't be enough, but you can try. to cover your medical bills? Yours. Let us see if they have an answer for this.
more the merrier. One charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. might not make it back from this one. They do not stand a chance. Child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. I know that wasn't your signature move. Another Hydra operation foiled. I'll never get tired of hearing that.